Hey guys, it's bright and early in the morning and I'm here to do some quad tuning. So uh, yesterday I busted out um, my Moon Goat frame build and uh, this is my like freestyle build. And I put some different props on it and it wasn't really flying the best. So I thought I would uh, get up bright and early in the morning when it's actually cool in Texas and uh, try to do a little tuning. So hopefully that doesn't screw me over tuning when it's cooler because obviously air temperature affects flight um, but hey if we get it close it's gonna be better than it was so that's what we're doing and uh, let's see how it goes I had a pile of these Azure Johnny FPV props um, I bought a bunch of them when I first started flying and I haven't used them because most of my builds carry a full-size GoPro um, so I use steeper pitch props to compensate for the weight uh, I thought I would try these out just to see if I get some smoother flight uh, and these are like high um, high RPM motors or high KV motors um, so it should be able to compensate for the weight uh, won't be as efficient but it should fly way smoother that doesn't feel too bad what was my problem? Maybe it was temperature related. Yeah, it's flying great. It's pitching a little bit, but it's not bad. A little prop wash. Rolling a little bit. A little bit of prop wash. I'm gonna try to get that out. So I'm just using my goggles to tune it because it's just way easier. Oh yeah, that's way better. Yeah, these props actually feel great. I don't know what my problem was. Yeah, so I was tempted to switch out the props on this. Uh, I. Like I said, I used the the lighter props, um, and I was thinking it was underpowered, but or underpropped, as they would say, because of the GoPro. But I don't know what I was thinking. It seems great. It must have been temperature related. So right now it's maybe about 77 degrees. Um, so I don't know. It was like 100 degrees yesterday, and it was flying a lot worse. Maybe that's it. I don't know, but. Seems pretty good now, so I'm just gonna go with it and do a little, uh, little freestyling.
<laughs> okay. All right. Well, I had to crash at least once. Crashing is optional, but I was pushing it a little bit. So, well, seems pretty tuned. I think I'll call it for now. I gotta go to work. So, we'll see you later. Hey guys, I just uh, real quick wanted to show you my freestyle build. Um, you know, since I showed you my, my Cinema 5 inch and also my Cinewoop, I'll show you my freestyle build, or my main freestyle build. I actually have another one that maybe I'll show you in a different video. Um, but this is my Moon Goat build. Uh, so it's rocking the Umagod Cricket FPV Moon Goat frame. And this thing is absolutely awesome. Um, super light, really, really tough. Uh, I'll probably be picking up another one of these, to be honest. It really is that good. Uh, the build, I, I mentioned in an Instagram post a while ago, but the build was like super tight. It was like hard to get the stuff in here. Oop, I got a loose screw here, or a loose, loose nut. Nice, I should probably inspect my stuff before I fly it. Anyways, yeah, so I got the Moon Goat frame. Uh, it's got the camera cage here, which I really like. It protects the camera from, you know, getting cracked. Uh, then I also have the Umagod hex motors. These motors are awesome. Um, one thing I like about it, and I should just recently learned this, uh, but it actually has a little hex. Uh, I don't know if I can get that to focus. Yeah, you, you can get an Allen key in there uh, in case you want to tighten the props without cutting your hands. So that's pretty sweet. Um, but these are 2306 uh, and 1777 KV. Yeah, these things are insane. Um, I don't know if Umagod's still making these. I actually checked the site today and I didn't see them on there. So, but I think they're still out on like Get FPV and stuff. So I'll probably be buying some more of those soon. Uh, the stack I got, I forget exact uh, the exact one. I'll put it in the description. Um, but I'm rocking the Mamba, um, the Mamba stack, and the the FC is. The one with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which is really nice for tuning. Which I, you know, earlier I tuned with my goggles, but it's really nice when you can bust out the app and do that in the field. Uh, then of course I got Catic Vista, and I got the old antenna, which is way better than the new one I hear. Um, yeah, DJI camera. Um, what else? Yeah, this one I actually I just printed this out. It's a GoPro Hero Seven. Mount and actually this one's really good. Um, and I'm flying a Hero 7. I don't really use the Hero 7 for anything but freestyle now because you really can't stabilize this. The only stabilization you can get is with Hyper Smooth. But yeah, that is the Moon Goat Quad. All right, guys, I'm off work and I'm ready to rip. I think I'm just gonna start up where I left off. I'm just gonna rip the same props and everything. Uh, they might vibrate a little bit, so apologies in advance, um, but just go for it. Why not? Yeah, it's not too bad, man. It's not perfect. Uh, I don't know, yeah, there's still still some prop wash here and there. But then again, I mean, that's just the way I'm, I'm flying. I think I can probably fly around it. Uh, I might tweak the, the PID tuning a little bit, but I don't know, it's pretty flyable. 
it's actually weird flying with with uh, shallow props because I normally I normally fly with like I want to say uh, 4.6 inch pitch props. Uh, these are 3.8, so yeah, it's a little different, but I don't know, flies pretty sweet. I was getting kind of squirrely out there. There's a lot of like random people that showed up out of nowhere, uh, so I I kind of had to land it, but it was pretty sick. And it was getting a little sketchy with the trees, so I'm leaving. I was driving around for like an hour trying to find another spot, and I think I got time for just one more freestyle rip. It's the blue hour. So hopefully I'll get some cool stuff. Regardless, hopefully you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe, add some suggestions in the comments, and I will see you on the next one. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.